Hey guys, this is Meg Monkeys. I just want to give you a quick tutorial showing you how to make this um, sort of brush steel type texture. So we're going to go into a new document, make a new layer, fill it with 50% gray. I got the fill by holding shift and hitting backspace and I'll select 50% gray. Um, and then I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise. Uh, now you can go uniform or Gaussian. Uh, I use uniform, I think, but it's important that you hit monochromatic because it'll look kind of funny if you got all these colors in there. I guess you can change that later, but it's easier just to hit monochromatic. Hit OK. We're going to go to filter, uh, blur and then to motion blur and so you want to make sure your angle is at 0 or 180 well, I guess it's still 0 uh, so it's horizontal or if you want you can make it vertical I'm gonna do horizontal here um, and distance you can play with here I've got 60 see if it's lower it's more kinda of bumpy and higher it's um, it's really liney but also you can see on the sides here um, like you can see the lines and that's not very good so I found you probably want less than a hundred uh, 60 I think was a I found to be a good number I get a compromise between sharpness and blurriness that doesn't really make sense but anyway uh, after that I'm going to duplicate the layer by holding Control J and change the blend mode of the top one to overlay and lower the opacity. This just gives sort of a bit more contrast and uh, like you can see uh, more of the, um, oh what's the word I'm looking for, the bumps, the, the darker colors. Um, to make those come out uh, which you might want and just play with the opacity you probably want a lower opacity um, and uh, yeah uh, I think that's pretty much it um, oh and one more thing I'm gonna go to the bottom layer um, and select a gradient overlay uh, with a blend mode of Actually, let's go to the style first. You can use actually any of these except for angle or diamond. Probably won't look very good. Uh, I'm going to use a radial. And what this is going to do is just uh, give me sort of a light source. Um, I'm going to hit reverse so there's a highlight. Um, and uh, so play with the style. Uh, you probably want black and white. And switch the blend mode to overlay or multiply um, I'm gonna go to overlay um, and lower the opacity a little bit and uh, a bit higher and so you can see now there's a highlight just reposition it a little bit um, and also try linear uh, and that sort of gives a flow uh, which is also a good look um, and reflected will also look pretty good I think um, so that gives kind of a line uh, highlight and um, so we will hit OK um, and we also probably want to uh, uh, crop out these uh, lines made from the motion blur because those don't look very good. Um, so that's another thing you might want to be conscious of when you're making a new document to make it a little bit bigger than you actually need it. Uh, so we're just going to crop it. And so there's our version. And uh, actually that's not the best photo. Uh, I've got some more loaded, but as you can see, um, I think it's a pretty good texture. Another thing um, to think about is you might not want the layer styles gradient overlay um, if you're making this texture to use in like Cinema 4D or something as a texture 
because you'll have the lighting within Cinema 4D, and this is kind of to fake the lighting in Photoshop. Um, so, uh, here, let's look at some others' uh, photos. And so, there are photos of um, the brush steel, and, uh, and that's what we have. So I think it's pretty good. Just a good uh, quick tip, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry for not uploading recently. I've been away from the internet, but I should be able to get back into weekly uploads. I've got a few videos backed up, so should be good to go. And I'm uh, I'm three subscribers away from reaching 50, and then I will give everyone their backgrounds. I've got a few done already, um, and so yeah, I'm really close and I'm excited. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.